Jake Ludington here at HP Discover in London, and I'm here with Jordan Whitmarsh. And you guys, the last time I talked to you, were talking about intelligent spaces as a concept. Yep. And it sounds like now you actually have a, a go-to-market solution. And, and can you talk about what that is? That's right. So we announced it at, uh, at the show here at uh, Discover London 2016. And we, as you said, we've been developing this concept over the past year and we launched it here at the, at the show. So it's now a globally available consulting solution designed to transform the workplace and make it much more intelligent, much more intuitive by integrating traditional workplace technologies like Skype for Business or Office 365 uh, with great quality wireless, location services and innovation that's coming through, uh, through some of our partners and from HP itself. So for somebody who wouldn't know what in, in intelligent space is, could you break down what that is? Yeah, well there's a number of, um, there's a number of elements, um, but effectively we're using IoT, location services, and innovative cloud and mobile services from partners in HPE to build workplace services that mold themselves around you as an individual. So we have identity services, location services, and by building those two contexts together, you can make some real magic happen in the workplace, actually. So being able to, for example, walk into a conference room and the call start automatically because it knows that you're in there, changing indicator lighting, booking the meeting room out automatically, you know, taking those friction points out of your day so that you can focus on the job that you've got to do, because your job's hard enough, right? It, it is, certainly. <laughs> but so. In that context, like if you if you know that you're coming into a conference room and need to dial a conference bridge, mm -hmm. how do you how do you eliminate the competition where like five different people walk in the room and maybe they all have their own conference bridge, or is it or is it because you've scheduled the room, it's smart enough to know which conference bridge goes with that meeting? Well, there's two there's two modes there. So there's the ad hoc meeting, and there is the scheduled meeting. So with an ad hoc meeting, it's actually the room itself that owns that meeting. Okay. So the room invites you and the and your participants to that meeting. With a scheduled meeting, it's the person who created that meeting who is the owner, and then other people are added as participants automatically. So that seems like a very obvious advantage because nobody likes dialing conference bridges. Mm -hmm. and, but what are some other things, like, a, like if I'm walking into the office and you know, it's, it's like Monday morning, what, what kind of benefits am I going to see from this other than just dialing a conference bridge? Not that that, not that, that isn't huge value. No, no, I get that. But the, so if you think about what the um, majority of enterprise workplaces are, uh, the spaces that they consist of, we've got meeting rooms, desking areas, and informal meeting spaces, cafeterias, you know, uh, coffee areas, that kind of thing. Um, and we have solutions which cover each of those areas, so, uh, and, and more. So imagine you arrive at work at 8.30 in the morning and you need to find a desk pull out your mobile app, the Intelligent Spaces mobile app, and find a, an available hot desk. Uh, imagine in the future if that app was able to take additional context from your calendar that says, I'm going to meet with these people throughout the day. Are they in the building? Are they clustered? Can I make a better recommendation for the desk that you should go sit at? Um, and wayfind me there because workplaces are becoming ever more dynamic. Things are moving around, uh, people are moving around, resources are moving around. So being able to find desking, um, being able to um, find people, so people and static, uh, static and mobile resources. So for example, uh, I work on the third floor sometimes, sometimes I'm on the sixth floor, and I've got people who want to work with me face to face because that's where the real sparks of innovation are captured. Send a friend request and share my location and way find me to the, uh, to the, appropriate, uh, the appropriate place to find that individual. Uh, being able to do pull print with location services. So I don't know where my nearest printer is, I've never been on this floor before, I've never even been to this office before potentially. Just send it to a generic print queue, walk up to a printer, or get way find it to a a, uh, a printer, walk up to it, and then the job appears. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So we're we're adding an uh, elements. We're trying to identify friction points in people's day, and find innovative technology solutions to uh, to solve those challenges. But very critically, not deploy this technology as yet more islands of functionality within the workplace environment. But the the thread that. Uh, comes through the whole of the Intelligent Spaces program is what? how can we integrate those islands together and build automation or orchestration or workflow that can that can thread these contexts together and make the whole experience much more personal because it's that personalization that drives engagement and as we all know more engaged employees deliver better outcomes for organizations. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks Jordan. You're very welcome. <laughs>